know, Delmarva has a rich history of shipbuilding that continues to this day, and Salisbury cruise ships are built along the Wicomico River. Yeah, but what you probably won't find on those ships are the elaborate wood carvings that were popular on the ships in the 17th and 18th centuries. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't find beautiful ship carving pieces. As a matter of fact, you can learn how to make them. We'd like to introduce you to Noel Justice. He's an experienced wood carver who just happens to know a lot about <laughs> ship carving. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay, Beautiful. So let, me, let me start at the beginning here. What is ship carving? Well, it um, goes way back. Nobody knows how far, but it uh, came into being mostly around the 1600s, 1700s. Uh -huh. And seafarers going out into the unknown, they had no idea what was out there dragons, sea monsters, mermaids. Whatever their imagination <laughs> could come up and with. And we all know the earth is flat. Yes. They yeah. had yes. no idea. What, but, but to put elaborate spooky carvings on their ships, hopefully it would deter some of their potential enemies. Uh -huh. and, and I hear that we've been invaded by the Vikings. It, it's yeah. true. Yeah. So uh, you'll note a dragon on the front and rear of the ship. Yeah. Right? And to see that ship coming towards you, I'm, I'm sure you'd turn and run. That'd be scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you guys are, are planning on making this weekend is, is actually ship carvings and name boards? It's a name board. Uh, typically, it goes on the stern of the ship. Uh, people use them now for uh, their address on their house right. or everybody names their beach house uh, and such. Yeah. But um, what we're going to concentrate on is forming letters and numbers using uh, chisels and gouges. So, so you've got one here. I have one here. Bethel. So, what's uh, involved in making something like this? Well, we start with a pattern. Mm -hmm. You know, you can print out uh, text from your computer, uh, trace it on a board, right. and using chisels and gouges in lieu of a, a router. I was going to say, so it's all hand tools. It is all hand tools. Yep. And I'll show you how to use the hand tools, how to sharpen, how to how to do it safely. Yeah. You know, nobody leaves with blood or anything like that. You but keep all do, your fingers? Yeah, we do pass out band-aids just in case. <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and you've been doing wood carving for quite some time. Uh, quite a few years, yeah. Yeah, and yep. teaching people. Yep, I started at the Ward Museum teaching there and I've moved to uh, this museum. And Bethel has an awesome museum. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. maritime museum. Yep. Yeah. They're famous for their uh, Victory Chimes, which is their Chesapeake Bay three-masted schooner, and it's now uh, part of the main windjammer fleet, you know. Hmm. Wow, how about so, that? And it's also, neat, neat little piece of trivia, it's also on the back of the main state quarter. If you, if you look at the tails on a quarter, that's, right. that's depicted the uh, Victory Chimes. Really? I do. So that's pretty cool. How about that? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so you can teach us how to do this. Yes. Give us, give us the details of, of the where's and the winds. Well, this Saturday, the 25th, 9 to 4, at the Bethel Maritime Museum, uh, members are $40 non-members, 45. Mm -hmm. um, mostly we're going to have fun. I will teach you how to use the chisel and, and gouges, but we're going to have fun. So do we have to, to bring any tools or yeah. any supplies I, or I anything supply like that? I supply everything. Uh, bring a lunch, mm -hmm. maybe a chair. Yeah. I'll supply the, the materials, the tools, the band-aids and stuff. <laughs> and the know-how. And the know-how, yeah. So yeah. this is something that we could eventually get tools and, and you're going to teach us how to do it. Maybe we'd yeah. want to take home with sure. Yep. <laughs> nice. That is really neat. And All in of the, this. In the future, we have other classes coming. Um, uh, we've already had some carving classes. We've had stained glass classes. But coming up in the fall, we're going to have a, a, I teach blacksmithing. I teach tinsmithing and, and painting, drawing and such. Another stained glass course. So keep an eye on our website, Facebook page, and, and we're going to go through all that. There's okay. just not much that you don't know how it's, to do, is there? It's fun. When you sit in the cubicle all day in front of a computer, you want to go home and relax, have fun, and it's, yeah. and it's relaxing. No it's Justice Wood Carver extraordinaire Thank with you. the Bethel Thank Maritime you. Museum. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It. Sounds like a lot of fun. It does. Mm -hmm.